The basic Patriot Air and Missile Defense System includes a fire unit which includes a trailer-mounted Patriot launcher capable of firing four Pac-2 missiles or 16 Pac-3 missiles, an engagement control station for battle management, command, control, and communications, and a Patriot radar. The Pac-3 missile weighs about 700 pounds at launch, is approximately 17 feet long, and about 10 inches in diameter. The Pac-3 missile uses a solid propellant rocket motor, aerodynamic controls, and attitude control motors, ACMs, during flyout to the target. The ACMs are small, short-duration solid propellant rocket motors located in the missile forebody, which fire explosively to refine the missile's course during the end game of the flyout. In a typical scenario, multiple Patriot fire units would be deployed to provide overlapping coverage. First, the radar electronically scans the skies with close attention to the horizon, searching the entire volume with overlapping pencil beams. Two targets are detected, a tactical ballistic missile coming in over the horizon and a low-flying cruise missile. When the targets are detected, the radar communicates with the computer in the control station and immediately schedules more frequent beams to the target in order to confirm and establish tracking. The tracking data is passed to the Information Coordination Central, or ICC, for correlation and validation. Targets can be tracked manually or automatically if so desired by the operator. However, the operator always maintains override capability, able to change designation from hostile to friendly. If and when appropriate, the system or the operator will engage the hostile target. An Engagement Decision Weapon Assignment, or EDWA, is made, and the now-determined hostile target is assigned to the optimally located fire unit. The engagement sequence then continues at the fire unit engagement control station level. During the engagement, the system computer determines the optimum moment for launch, transmits an initial heading instruction to the Pac-3 missiles, then gives the command to the launcher to fire. Per current operational doctrine, two Pac-3 missiles are fired at each TBM target to maximize the single engagement probability, ensuring protection of the high-value asset. The missile flies via inertial guidance to an intercept point specified prior to launch by its ground-based fire solution computer, which is embedded in the engagement control station. Shortly before arrival at the intercept point, the KA band seeker on the Pac-3 missile acquires the target. An optimal aim point is selected, and terminal guidance is initiated. The combination of a precise seeker and an agile airframe enables the Pac-3 missile to achieve hit-to-kill intercept of the target. Direct body-to-body -body contact of the missile and the target creates very high energy, which facilitates destruction against advanced theater ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and hostile aircraft. Most importantly, it destroys weapons of mass destruction carried by the warheads. Once the battle manager has determined that the threat target has been defeated, any remaining Pac-3 missiles in the air are issued a command to self-destruct. Pac-3. Hit to kill superiority. Combat proven.